Replacing their original Pilgrim, the Goodyear Zeppelin Corporation had developed a new airship design of 123,000 cubic feet that could tolerate helium's lesser lift. By the late 1920s, they had built a half dozen examples, carrying the company's name aloft from bases around the country. The airships were powered by two Warner Super Scarab R500 radial engines of 145 horsepower. The eight-foot wooden propellers were bolted directly to the crankshafts. In 1937, the U.S. Navy ordered one airship of this design, designating it L-1. The price? Approximately $65,200. L-1 became a flying testbed, evaluating underway refueling from an oiler, and even sky-blue camouflage on its envelope. One of only a handful of blimps available when America entered World War II, L-1 and her sister ships were sent out to look for Nazi submarines while equipped only with radios. As the larger K-type airships were delivered, L-1 and her sisters were relegated to training roles. Following World War II, the L-1 returned to test and development. In 1946, L-1's car wheel was removed and replaced with a single McKinley four-chamber inflated pontoon. A series of 29 test flights were conducted. Some 100 takeoffs and landings in gusty winds and choppy water were made on Wingfoot and Milton Lakes. The single float was found to be unsatisfactory, as it required extraordinary piloting technique to prevent rolls. So, a second McKinley float and structure were added. A small float replaced the lower fin wheel, since the tail was sometimes struck hard enough to damage the fin when struggling with a very heavy dynamic takeoff. A series of 67 flights were made, with 171 takeoffs and landings. The U.S. Coast Guard participated in these tests on Lake Erie. A small hand wobble pump had been installed so the ship could take on water ballast, demonstrating the ability to regain weight burned off as gasoline was consumed. The water bags were mounted on strong points in the airship car. For the later tests, the wobble pump was enhanced and a larger ballast bag was mounted outside the car on the pontoon structure. The bag's dumping arrangement was controlled by the pilot. The twin float unit proved to be much more stable in all sea and air conditions. A series of mounting adjustments perfected the pontoon's angle for best water entry. Pontoon mounting adjustments fore and aft found the optimal spot for the pressure airship's balance. The test results were summarized in a report that promised renewed hope for water operations. However, Congress cut funding for airships to the point that only 16 blimps of all sizes and types were retained in inventory. The L-1 and all of her sister ships were sold off to become advertising airships. Another promising airship development, operations from open waters, was quickly forgotten. <laughs>